The SR-71 Blackbird is one of the most amazing aircrafts to have ever been built. But many might not know that there is supposedly a very top secret, even more top secret variant of the SR-71. It's called the SR-75 Penetrator. And basically, this plane is way crazier than, than the SR-71. And we're going to be trying to build it today in Kerbal Space Program. Okay, we might have a slight issue. It's too wide. Okay, we're gonna build something a little bit different. We're gonna be, we're gonna build the Brilliant Buzzard, which is basically the successor to the SR-71 instead. I mean, it's basically an SR-71, but it's, it's using a different type of engine. And I'm just gonna be using these adjustable ramp intakes instead. Just like that. I'm not really sure if the Brilliant Buzzard can like adjust the wings like the XB-70, but on the concept pictures, it looks like this. It has like the wings bent. Okay, so as you can see, we have the Brilliant Buzzard on the runway, and it looks amazing. I think I have like, I don't know, what, what do you call th this part right here? This portion right here, I'm running to it, this part. Okay, I don't think this is supposed to be bent as much but it's fine okay let's let's do a quick test flight and see how well the brilliant buzzard flies or how fast Ooh, that's a, that's a pretty interesting thought right there everything looks great so far and lift off wow goodness gracious that was easy oh 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 no what is happening what is happening Okay, all the engines are working fine, but this thing does not want to fly it straight. It's like going to the right. Oh no, I, I, I'm literally... Uh, okay, I'm pressing... Oh no, I can't control it. Into the water. Okay, so... There seem to be some issues with the plane. Okay, so I have a hunch that the issue is with the wings. The way they're angled is causing it to uh, not fly the way I want it to. Can't control it into the water. So I'm gonna make it straight, just like this. Okay, I'm just waiting for the weird tilting to happen. If it doesn't tilt, then we might have solved our issue. And from the way it looks, I think we did. It looks like the Concorde. Oh, it does look like the Concorde. Okay, let's slow down for a little bit. We are going a little too fast. Things are overheating. The materials that I use for this plane is not made to go, like, at this speed, so... Okay, this looks insane. This looks absolutely insane. So we are currently right above Mach 3 right now. We are going 1100 meters per second. Man, we are at 30,000 meters, well, dropping. We are at 209,000 meters. But man, this thing flew way better than I expected. Way better. I wonder if I can turn this thing into like a space plane. That would be insane. You know what? I kind of want to do that. Let's see if we can turn this thing into a space plane. Okay, guys. So I... I think we got ourselves a very, very beautiful looking aircraft right here. It's, oh man, this thing looks so cool. Bro, adding, adding like this portion right here made it so much better. But yeah, this thing should be a fully bona fide spaceship now. Well, space plane. Like I said, really easy. Hopefully we can break Mach 1 before 5,000 meters. Like I said, we probably can break Mach 1 before 5,000 meters. Actually, never mind. We are 30 meters per second short of Mach 1. Oh, look at this shot. Oh my goodness. OK, 
Okay, now we should be able to. Okay, let's let's be more aggressive with our pitch now because we have enough speed to do so. You can hear the turbo ramjets powering down. The rapiers are still going full power. Beautiful. Okay, we are. Power this down. Switch. Okay, we should have enough oxidizer. We got like s two minutes worth of oxidizer, so. Yep, we're just gonna hold this and keep going. Oh! This angle right here. This is like that shot of the century. I'm pretty sure the US military is doing something very much like this 30 years ago. I'm not telling anybody because they're party poopers. Man, this is so cool right here. Just cruising at slightly over a hundred thousand feet wow look at that this is absolutely beautiful how, how fast are we going in orbit 1300 meters per second it's pretty fast pretty fast we might be in space Bob we might be in space look at that you can see the the arm of the Milky Way right there looking absolutely beautiful just one we just we're just one small spaceship well space plane in space just chilling we're not even in space really because we are we're only 30 kilometers above so we need to be double the height to be actually in space so yep this is not true space plane but it's close enough i would say it is close enough okay engines are on Okay, honestly, we're not even going that fast. For re-entry, we are not going that fast. We're only, we're, we're, we're only going Mach 3 on re-entry. That's not really that fast. So, I think we're doing good. Oh, no. SAS, turn it off. Okay, let's pitch up just a little bit. Don't break the plane. There we go. Beautiful. I just realized that I have no way in controlling yaw control. Huh. What a what an amazing design. I did not even realize that I had no rudder to control yaw control. Bro, okay, if you saw this during the night, you would think that this was a UFO. Like, call me crazy, but this looks very weird. Yeah, this looks <laughs> this looks this looks really weird, but but it's cool. It's weird if you don't know about it. Mm. Let's go for a landing. There we go. Man, this is such a cool build, guys. Absolutely an amazing build. This is probably one of my favorite builds. But yeah.